Lawrence parents and their kids gathered downtown Saturday to protest potential school closings. KUJH TV's Kiernan Markey reports on what they're fighting for and why. In a sign of community solidarity, more than 1,200 people showed their support for local elementary schools Saturday afternoon as they participated in the Save Our Schools movement. The movement stems from recent Lawrence School Board talks that threaten to close schools due to a $4 million budget deficit. The board has not decided which, if any, schools will close, but that did not stop Lawrence residents from taking to the streets to protest. At this point, it's not a matter of which school, it's a matter of any school. That's what this group is about, Save Our Neighborhood Schools, is to promote that not all, we don't have a one-size-fits-all school. We don't have one-size-fits-all kids. We don't have one-size-fits-all classrooms or teachers. Hillcrest Elementary, whose ESL program has been useful for international families, is one school that faces closure. Daniel Dorado of Bolivia has been very impressed with the education his son received at Hillcrest. Oh, more than half of the, of the students at Hillcrest are international students, and it's just being at home. You learn so much from other cultures, from other people, that we will be so sad that the school is closed. So each school brings, has its own diversity and its own uh, mix of children and their mix of challenges and assets and we need to embrace those and, and show those as an asset that the district has and not a drawback. The march began at Liberty Hall where children made posters as adults rallied support for the cause. The group walked five blocks down Massachusetts Street to South Park where the march ended. Kiernan Markey, KJH TV News.